Welcome to the second part of Ozone Generator series. As you can see we have bought a nice plasma ball and will use it as a power supply. We will review all generators that was introduced in previous video. The copper wire length had to be adjusted as the power output is about 20 times weaker than the TV flyback. Voltage is now at about 5 kV at 3 watts. Let's get started. Under the hood we have got pretty basic board. This device is already modified by soldering short wire near the transformer. This one will be our high voltage line. And this a neutral one. The polarity should not matter, but I like to connect high voltage to outer layer. Random object is used as a stand so generator can arc freely. Plug in the cable and system is running. The faint purple glow is really visible only in dark on camera, but it looks like this. As you can see the corona is spread very evenly and it looks like glow instead of arc. Here is more contrast photo. I think that discharge looks more energetic at the ends is that this one has high voltage connected to the inner electrode. With voltage as low as 5 kV the air gap can cause uneven glow. Not mentioning that it is very close to the limit where it just starts working. In this photo you can see reflection of the wire from the inner aluminium foil. Also some imperfect coating effect on top right. PVC tubing is performing really bad, but I believe, that is due to imperfect inner electrode, and also low voltage. And this one is about the same. Only it looks like the glass is dielectric of choice. Now this one is powerful. Obviously thin materials are going to produce stronger effects. But beware of ozone and UV damage also heat will assist to decompose plastic materials. But wait! There's more! I have made small transparent electrode generator. Look at that beauty! I will release this ASAP and no more ozone then. I promise. <laughs> 